and let's mute that so we don't have an echo. Welcome everybody to the stream. It is a wonderfully cold, what is it, 14 degrees outside right now here in Western Washington. Happy to have you guys all here. And we're going to be playing some Marvel Snap. We're playing our high Evo she not here today. You guys are going to get my sultry radio voice because I just woke up and I'm excited to hang out with you guys. We're starting off with an absolute crap location at District X. Totally fine. Here we are playing Ebony Maw. This most likely indicates we're going to play a Spectrum deck or we're going to be playing a Sauron. Just kidding. This was created by District X, so it's random. Let's do a Doctor Strange in the middle. Let's take Mirror Island. Ooh, and an Onslaught's Citadel. Hopefully I get something good over here. Ooh, a Groot. Come on, man, play on Mirror Island. You know you want to. You know you wanna. Storm, what a jerk. Except I have a lot more power than him, so that actually works out pretty well. Silver Samurai, each player discards the lowest power card in their hand. Um, yeah, so let's, let's start working on District X here real quick. I don't think he's going to be able to take middle. Oh, baby, let's go. Got his Iron Man. Men thing. Well, that's annoying. I mean, we're still winning that location, so that's totally fine, actually. Um, yeah, we can hit this with Abomination. And hopefully we get something good in turn six. Let's go into turn six here, folks. An Iron Lad It's going to hit Crystal, which means we're going to draw. Thank you, sir. Ooh, a Jubilee. We can get something random. We can play Drax for eight, and then ten. Yeah, he retreated. First one's win here, folks. Probably could have snapped turn five, but that's okay. We started off today at 83, or sorry, excuse me, 82-3, and we're up to 82-4. Here we go. That is a very interesting username. Underscore slash I slash underscore plus Q6. I'm sure that means something in Leet speak, but I don't, I'm not even sure. That is what it is. Looks like we are playing a destroy deck. I really hope I draw armor. That would be really cool. I'm going to get rid of the raft because I don't actually think I'm going to be able to take it. A 7 power X23, which means he's probably going to power up his null quite a bit, so we're going to be saving our Shang-Chi for later. This is going to be a good time. The vault. So he's going to snap on me. I didn't really get any of the cards that I wanted. I want to play Sunspot, but that's kind of a dangerous play considering he is playing Destroy, but we could always wait for a little bit. Um, man, and on Elysium 2, let's wait to see what we have. It's only two. A Deathlock, okay. Alright, here's where we're getting risky here, folks. Oh. Oh, okay. Nice. A Venom, alright. I'm actually okay with that because I can hit that with a Shang-Chi. But I'm really hoping I draw armor. I would love to draw armor in the middle. Because I have two locations now, so I have priority. Drawing armor would be absolutely key here. Cyclops.
All right, uh, hopefully he doesn't play Killmonger. Deadpool, Nimrod, Carnage. Okay, that makes sense. There's armor. It might be a turn too late. Or we might just need to hit Shang-Chi over here. Maybe protect this side. Yeah, we're just gonna have to send it like this. Deadpool, that's probably a Killmonger, yep. That stinks, that took nine power away from us, but that's okay. And we drew Infinite. That sucks. Um, let me see, and we don't have enough power on the field yet to win, so we're gonna give this guy the thumbs up, and we're gonna retreat, because we did not get the draws we needed. That's all right, folks. Escaped. Two is fine, two is always better than four, when it comes to losing, I should say. dimension all right um let's do a sunspot this has the makings of a decent win we might be able to pull some cubes back we're down three right now so we'll try to take some of those back starlight citadel uh, we're gonna play misty knight and then turn three armor turn four magic that way we're running with a excess of one energy per turn so we can keep sunspot and misty knight growing Hopefully we draw Cyclops, I'm going to play Cyclops, turn 4, Magic, turn 5, because then we can hit Dream Dimension, and it's not really going to affect us too much. Ooh. After turn 4, swap the position. Uh, I'm going to guard these guys with armor. Yeah, we'll hit this with Magic. Jubilee, very nice. Alright, so it looks like we're playing a Jubilee Thor so far. Not bad. Is that going to give Asgard to me? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I was wondering if that was going to happen. Ooh, we drew Cyclops. Let's go. Um, honestly, I kind of want to hit them with Cyclops over here. Just because that's going to be super annoying for him. Ooh, a blade is going to get rid of Magneto. So maybe there's a discard element in here as well. So we should probably expect like a Hela or a Ghost Rider. Let me see. Honestly, I'm not really thinking of playing Infinite turn 6. I mean, we could though. Because that would just load up Sunspot, Misty Knight, Cyclops. Let's do it. Let's go for the classic turn 6, snap and skip. He's going to snap against me. That's totally fine. I don't think he knows I'm going for Infinite. I'm feeling pretty confident on Limbo. A Giganto. Fantastic. And Mjolnir. Yeah, see, now I'm only down three. He has priority i'm gonna leave asgard alone and i'm just gonna take this over here so i'm gonna play 30 power on one location i think we got this yeah he's gonna play wasp and hella that's totally fine magneto is gonna pull magic over wow that makes my play even more efficient thanks buddy
Bam. Beat him by 14 points on the right. That's pretty good. Thanks for the eight cubes, buddy. We'll take it. That is a huge bonus to us. Turn six, snap and skip wins us a bunch. We're up to 83-3. We are at plus five cubes for the day. A Lemuria, totally fine. Always okay with a Lemuria opening. Ooh, a Nebula Jeff. All right. This makes me think that this is going to be a control deck. I do kind of want to get rid of Shuri's lab because I don't have anything super strong to put there and I don't really want him to upgrade that too much. Yeah, so we're definitely playing a control mechanic here. Limbo Limbo. Yeah, that's good because it would have snagged Shuri's lab and we would have had a little bit of a problem on our hands. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll play Luke Cage here. We don't really have anything else to do. Oh, interesting. That's actually okay. Sort of. Not really, I guess, because now we can play more cards over there. So he's really banking on being able to control that right side. This would be a fun deck to play, actually, now that I'm looking at it. I'm like, this isn't bad, man. It's not bad. Silk, okay. Miles Morales. I'm wondering... This almost has the the look of a Cerebro deck, too, because they have a lot of five power cards. But that wouldn't make sense with Nebula. Too bad I can't play two cards. Uh, I'm just gonna... This kind of sucks. I need to get a cheap card. So I'm gonna play Hulk over here, because I'm hoping to hit uh, something over here, maybe with Shang-Chi. Probably not. It's probably not going to work. I'm probably going to lose this. So if they snap, we're out. Oh, him using Shang-Chi is actually pretty helpful, though. Because we're still going to win that location. Okay, is there a way for us to win a different location? So if we did, like, an armor... Abomination? That would put us at 12 over on left. So we'd have to get really lucky. Let's go for it. Negasonic, armor, no way did we win this. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe we won that. I'm glad I didn't snap though, I was feeling real nervous. All right guys, that puts us, uh, I'm trying to see, we did a, I'm just gonna do a little bit of math here. We did a negative one, a negative two, an eight, and then we just won another two. I'm gonna keep track of our stats while we go through this. Uh, so that puts us at four games so far, I think. One, two, three, four. And a sum of seven. Fantastic. My We're winning on average 1.75 cubes right now. This is this is pretty nice. Ooh, and Titan is such a good location for this deck because I have three six cost cards. Project Pegasus, let's go, buddy. I really wish I could play Infinite right there. That would be super awesome. Um, part of me wants to play She-Hulk, because why not? And we can save Infinite for later. 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to draw magic. Oh, he's playing a mold. That's super annoying. So that means he's playing a Ronin deck. No way. He just loaded my hand. And he hit my Cyclops with Baron Moro. That sucks. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going to play a Sentinel because that's all I can do. Yikers. I might skip turn four, though. <laughs> Because then turn five I can play Infinite. Play Infinite on Titan. Turn six Hulk. Uh, yeah, let's skip turn four. That way Sunspot's gonna get some love as well. Come on, true believer. There's no way he's not gonna play like Ronin Mystique, right? Okay, Nico Moru, Rogue, no target, that's fine. Turns her into a demon. That's actually probably a better play. I don't think I have any ongoing cards other than Luke Cage here. So we're gonna do Infinite. I'm not gonna play him on Bar Sinister because that is a Shang-Chi Paradise. And that would make me feel very foolish. All right, it'd be really nice. Yep, yeah, there's the Ronin. Okay, so here's the thing. We are winning going into this turn. Do I Shang-Chi and then like Sentinel? Because he's probably going to play um, Mystique. Yeah, I might just do like Sentinel mid or Sentinel right. Or, I mean, I'm going to hit him over here. Oh, and he has priority now because I drew a card. Okay, so that's not great. So he's going to get his... He's going to get Mystique to go off. I'm trying to think. Can, he could play Mystique Maximus, though, and win. I don't really like my odds here. I'm going to leave. We'll take that minus one that puts us to six total cubes so far. Totally fine with that. Ronin decks are so interesting and I'm seeing them more and more than I ever have before. I love that mechanic because like messing with your opponent's hand is so much fun. Uh, the ice box hit my magic. Okay. That's unfortunate. Mirror dimension. Okay. Let's do Luke Cage over right. So at least we have a card there. Who knows when you get hit with Sanctum Sanctorum and you need something there. Ant Maze. Uh, let's end. I do not have anything for that. Although this does give me a good opportunity to hit a 13 She-Hulk, so that'd be cool. Ooh, and I just skipped a turn? I could play Infinite. Dude. Uh, yeah, we're gonna play that over there. Thanks, buddy. Lord help me if this is a Galactus deck. I guess I could have played Infinite on Ant Maze, but I need the help on other cards because he's of lower power, so. Magneto! Oh no! <laughs> uh, turn 5. Yeah, let's hit that over here. Uh, and let's play Misty Knight. He's probably feeling pretty good about himself right now. A 
a 1-5 Misty Knight. I'm feeling pretty good about that. Taskmaster, totally fine, buddy. I got a Shang-Chi ready for you. That's totally fine. Because I'm going to take that and hit you over here. Yep, Giganto, totally fine. Because now I'm winning two locations, buddy. And I can do that. Go up three here. Because that's going to win me all three locations. I'm going to win 16. You would need to play four, five here to win, seven here to win. I'm feeling pretty good about this. He doesn't have anything over here that he can Shang-Chi and he's already winning here. So it wouldn't make sense for him to play Shang-Chi. Even if he does and he kills like all of my cards, it's like totally fine. A Quake, that doesn't matter. So. And a Vision. Yeah, but you didn't count for Sunspot, buddy. You didn't account for Sunspot. Thank you for the four cubes. There we go. Get that out of the way. Need that just a little bit lower. I'm going to bring that just a little bit lower as well. There we go. Um, all right, guys. We are on an, at an average of 1.67 cubes, so we're very positive here today. We have won a total of 10 cubes. A net of 10 cubes, I should say. We've only lost four today. Pretty dang good if you ask me. Um, I'm gonna avoid Gamma Lab for just a moment because I do like having Sunspot on the field. It's a it's a great play. Get a copy of your opponent's hand. This just in. Rogue. Oh, that's nice. A Medica Chavez. Very nice. Always a fun card. An absorbing man. Nice. Um, yeah, let's hit Gamma Lab with magic just to be a jerk. Because he's probably like, oh yeah, I've totally got this. Nah, man. We're going to shut that down. Shut it down. Oh, thanks, man. Angel Toothers for the GG. Thank you so much. I might have missed that for a second. I had my analytics sheet up. So sorry about that. Should probably have chat open. Here, I'll have chat and analytics open. How about that? Uh, looks like we're playing... I bet Sebastian Shaw is in this deck. There's no way they're not, right? Um, stealing on going effect. On reveal, on reveal. I kind of want to keep this. I mean, if he steals my armor effect, that's actually totally fine, and I don't care. Um, I don't really want to play Rogue, because I can keep that energy elsewhere. Thanks for the armor, appreciate it. And I, and El Yafe. Good morning to everyone who's joining. Make sure to type in exclamation point riddle me this if you guys are interested in doing a little bit of trivia. We also have usually some Star Wars trivia in there as well. We're gonna hit that left side with the Cyclops, two up on Sunspot, maybe some extra power for Misty Knight. And we are looking pretty good so far. Give it one more card and we'll probably go into the snap and skip turn six that we really, really love if we draw She-Hulk. So let's see what we got. I'm not entirely sure why it says I have Enchantress in my deck on the left side, guys. That needs to be updated. We drew She-Hulk, so we're going to do a snap and skip. Because that's going to put 6 power on Sunspot, 7, uh, net 9 power onto the board while still skipping, and then 30 power turn 7. Honestly, it looks like the hub, I might leave that side alone. They might think, oh, I'm going to reinforce that so I can win that. And actually, I hope we can get them to waste as much power as possible over on the hub. Yeah, see, that's the good stuff. Yep, you killed Misty Knight. That's totally fine. A gladiator, interesting. 
Thanks for that. Hello. Hello. And this gives us advantage going into turn six, so that's pretty intense. Honestly, we can win all three locations, so I'm thinking Infinite She-Hulk. Yeah, they retreated. Let's go. That's another one. Yeah, buddies. Guys, we are at a sum of 12 cubes so far. This is awesome. We're at 84.3. Let's keep climbing. Let's keep climbing, folks. Uh, just so you guys know, I keep most of my stuff over here on a Google Sheet, so that way I can literally just like compute everything or have it basically do all of my work for me. So this is the nice part about having two different screens. What are we waiting for? Waiting for opponent. Gotcha. Again, welcome into the stream. If you guys are joining us, we got six people in the chat. Make sure you guys say good morning. Uh, I'm just drinking some classic coffee here with a little bit of creamer in it today. Opponent retreated. Um, so that's a free cube. Thanks, I think. Yep. Uh, GG, I guess. That puts us at a sum of 13 cubes. A, a net 13 cubes. That's pretty dang good, guys. All right, Grand Central, after turn five, put a card from each player's hand here. I do love Grand Central. It's a very fun location. Looks like we're playing Destroy, and he got my Cyclops. That puts our odds of winning actually down considerably, so let's keep that in mind. A Jotunheim. All right, we're going to play Misty Knight right. I'm assuming they're going to have other Destroy cards in this lineup, so we'll really hope we draw armor. At least if we draw Sunspot, we'll definitely want to make sure we hit armor on that right side. Forge, okay. Still has the makings of either a one cost or a destroy deck. Asgard. I'm gonna hit Jotunheim because I hate that location. That's gonna do us both a favor. Yes, Killmonger. Okay, so we are definitely playing destroy. Interesting that he didn't play that over on Asgard because he would get the bonus draw from that side because he would now be winning, but that's for him to do. Uh, we'll put High Evo over here. There's a good chance we're going to lose this. Not a good draw, not a good uh, opponent so far. So we're going to be guarding those cubes pretty jealously here. A Wolverine, okay. I'm confused on why he didn't play here, but that's all right. Okay, so since we are going to go into turn seven, let's do a Armor Sunspot and end turn. We might be able to salvage something from here. He's gonna fill this location, which means, yeah, he's gonna destroy all that. Again, he could have had better armor. I mean, I guess he could load up that null play at the end. It took my Shang-Chi, of course it did, which is gonna kill his Venom, so that's cool. That That is a positive, That is a, that is a positive. Of all the cards it could have taken, it could have taken a lot of these. Um, let's do, we're not gonna snap and skip, but we are gonna skip turn six. We're just gonna see what he plays. And here's the thing, with him, he just killed Deadpool and it went into his hand as four power. So he's probably gonna play Null Deadpool at the end, which will not win him any more than two locations. Hello, so happy. Null middle, okay. Yep, Null Deadpool called it. Give me those cubes, baby. I cannot believe we pulled out two cubes from that. No way. See, because the Null, get, Null gets wasted, all that power. And he didn't consolidate, like if he... I, I would have played that a little bit differently. 
Honestly, I would have kept Killmonger over on the right. He didn't set up his killing field very well, which is really good because we got really lucky on that. He also should have taken, if he had played Asgard, that would have been, uh, that would have been pretty brutal. Hey, Leo17, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it so much. Uh, you're going to see your name at the bottom of the screen because you are our newest follower. So thank you so much for that. Appreciate it. After you play a card here, return it to your hand. All right. Thank you so much for following. We do a lot of Marvel Snap on this channel. We like to give a lot of insight so you guys can see what we do and why we do it. Ooh, I just got a chime again. Angel Toothers is now following. Thank you so much. That should update at the bottom of the screen. Let's see if our widgets are working all right. The vault. I'm not sure why it's not updating, so let me see that really quick. Um, let me see. You got a Mobius, that's okay. Uh, I'm looking to see why that widget is not updating, so I am I do apologize about that Angel Toothers. I'm not sure why that doesn't update. That's probably a, a problem with Streamlabs OBS, which is the site and software that we use, because it should have updated. And I don't know why it's not. So that's the question, right? Um, we're going to hit Abomination over here. Because uh, we've got Hulk, we can still play. And that hopefully will be enough for us to win that. Because, I mean, this is the only place he can play with that. Oh, there we go. It updated. Just took a little bit of time. I was like, man, you followed. I really appreciate that. Didn't want you to feel left out. But I'm also not a software wizard. So, you know, that's hard. Hard to figure out <laughs> when things go wrong. I'm like, I don't know why they're going wrong. So... All right, so we won the vault. He already moved Jeff. And we can play 18 power over on Minilab. I mean, Shang-Chi would maybe win him, but I mean, Sunspot has so much power already that it probably wouldn't. So we're gonna, I guess he could play Shang-Chi in another card because he's got Sarah. So he could play something a little bit more devastating than that. He hasn't snapped, so Either they're smart and they're thinking, hey, if I snap, I'm going to scare him away. Vader's a great name. I didn't see that username. Love to see it. Opponent. There it is. Yeah, see, he's got something I'm not ready for. He's he's anticipating the Hulk play. Escaped. Which I guess I, you know, if he had snapped a little bit earlier, I probably would have played High Evo Misty Knight maybe going into that. But again, I'm not really too fond of just throwing my cubes away right now. Where did my stats sheet go? Oh my goodness, where did all of those go? Here we go. Awesome. All right, I just need to do a little bit of shuffling, screen shuffling. Um, that was a minus one, right? Yeah, because we lost that. Minus one. Bait, I think. Absolutely, Angel Toothers. Uh, we're still at 84.5 and a net of 14 cubes for the day, so we're actually doing pretty good. So, again, I'm always okay with losing one, but... I, as a rule, I tend to not let people snap on me too much because it usually ends up biting me in the butt because there's so many possibilities to consider and it's just, it's hard to figure out. All right, a Misty Knight armor going into magic. This is going to feel pretty good. Ooh, and a sunspot. Yes, sweet. So we're going to hit armor mid and then probably get rid of one of these other locations, turn four with magic. 
a Psylocke. Uh, what variant do they have here? This is a little bit of sparkle. Fantastic. Um, let's make sure we guard these guys just in case they have a Killmonger. Never feels good to lose those guys. Hey, we've got eight people in the chat. Welcome, everybody. Make sure you guys say hello. we got a couple new followers as well. Appreciate you guys all for being here. Uh, makes my day, honestly, when you guys are doing this. So thank you so much. Personally, after you play a card here, replace this card's location. That card's location. Um, so they're going to do that. So I'm going to hit Atlantis with magic so we can still get the bonus. After you play your next card, dang, I thought they were going to play it over here. Iron Lad. No, he's going to replace my Limbo. That kind of sucks. That is a huge bummer. Central Park. <laughs> oh man. Squirrels. <laughs> Except squirrels get bonuses at Washington, D.C., so that's cool. So they're going to snap on me. See... Uh, I'm playing same deck, but I miss magic because I'm in the early 1k collection level. Real feels off without her. Absolutely, this deck thrives. Um, here, hold on. We're gonna we're gonna back out. Sweet, that that really hurt us. That magic got nullified essentially. Um, but no, that turn seven play is really key because when you skip turn six, you can play She-Hulk Infinite for free. But if you skip turn five, you can only play Infinite, and it doesn't benefit. You use all your energy, so it doesn't benefit your Cyclops, your Sunspot, your Misty Knight. So you miss out on a lot of power when you don't have that turn seven. It's it's still winnable, but it's harder to win, for sure. The peak. Oh, that really sucks. I'm not going to play the peak, because that's stupid. Although that does put our average to one cube per game. Because that was game number 12. So we're just going to hop right back in. And that puts us at a net of 12 cubes. The sun has finally risen on the west side of the United States here, guys. And it is currently 14 degrees and clear outside. All right, Vormir. We're going to play Sunspot mid. Sinister London, one of my favorite locations. Let's hit this with a double armor on both sides. Oh, I was hoping that was going to land on Vormir, but that's totally fine. Ravona Renslayer. Hmm. All right. Camp Lehigh. A crystal. Each player draws a card. I'm going to play Cyclops here. And honestly, I might just let this grow until we hit turn six. Oh, and he played magic. You wonderful, wonderful person. Look at you. Look at you. So beautiful. Um, honestly, I mean, I can play these over here, still get some bonuses on the field. Too bad we didn't get double sunspot, that would have been awesome. And Iron I Man, Iron balls, Man. that's not good. I am Iron Man. If this is Living Tribunal, this is going to be a huge bummer, but also Cyclops is going to help me out quite a bit here, because Iron Man's going to give a negative balance in the middle. Uh, I'm going to skip turn five. A Mystique, okay. Oh, this is good, actually, because that's going to get hit by Cyclops, and that's going to be even worse in the middle. No way, guys. This is amazing. Look at that. Minus 12 in the middle. Dude. I don't think he has Luke Cage. I'm going to snap. I'm going to guess he doesn't have Luke Cage. There's no way. There's no way. And the nice thing is, is he's going to go wide with that. So he's actually going to take a damage penalty if he decides. So Onslaught, what are you doing? Okay, so 
if we hit on oh man so now this makes a little bit more sense for him always scary when a lot of iron man i know he's got four iron mans on the field he's gonna snap so if he plays living tribunal on sinister london that will give him I'm trying to think it'll give him quite a bit of power we might have to lose this one guys that really sucks i mean i was really hoping to win out on this one but i, I just don't think we can win he's got oh man because yeah living tribunal if that lands on the left side we lose so let's give him the the honorary fist bump do that i need a different spot for this tracker maybe like have these up here maybe yeah we'll take a minus two <laughs> I thought we had him. I was like, oh yeah. And then he just kept doubling it. He's like, that's fine. Like, he's like, I'm gonna, he's, he's gonna win the math game, essentially. Uh, let me see. Missions, game collection level. Nice. Uh, I'm only, what is my overall collection level? Uh, 7,500. So I'm actually still pretty, pretty good. TK007007. Good night, bro. Uh, thanks, bro. Hi. <laughs> is it nighttime where you're at? It is uh, 8 in the morning here. Happy to have you. All right, let's hit this with a misty night. I'm trying to see. So I wish I could have my tracker up in a place that doesn't get in the way of this. So I never really use Thanos. I'll have to mess with that a little bit. You guys have to let me know how this how this is, because I mostly just I mostly want these three emojis: Deadpool, Spider-Man, and Fist Bump. Those are the ones I'm concerned about. Oh, you're here in India. Gotcha. Well, hello from uh, Washington, United States, um, to India. Happy to have you. 7 p.m. Eastern Europe here. Yeah, there you go, dude. Guys, we got people from all over the place. Johnny Drama. There's an option in the untapped tracker settings that hides the tracker when you select your avatar for emotes. <gasps> Sir, have you just made my life a little bit easier? I'll have to check that out. Hide while emote menu is visible. Experimental. Let's check that. Bam. Get rid of that. Okay. Oh, now it's not going to let me move these, so I don't know why that is. Let's end turn real quick. Oh, uh, it's not letting me select anything. There we go. That's super weird. Uh, get rid of that real quick. Get rid of that. Yeah, so... Why Enchantress here for Tribunal? So, that's the thing. Uh, this is another bug. It's it, I don't have Enchantress in my deck. Um, I don't know why it's there, so something needs to be updated. I've been having a lot of trouble with the untapped tracker. Um, actually, I'm trying to think in what card should be there. It should be Shang-Chi. Yeah, it should be Shang-Chi, because I used to have Enchantress for things just like that. You just unchecked it, though, lol. I guess it wasn't working. Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. Yeah, you're right. Um, what are we doing? Limbo. Uh, let's hit Luke... No, we're going to save Luke Cage because they're playing high Evo. Yeah, it, it's it's doing all sorts of weird stuff. It This has been happening to me pretty often recently. The last few streams, I actually didn't have anything on there. Um, let's do a... Man, I really wish I would have drawn Sunspot on this turn. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been doing weird stuff. I... I don't want to just take a risk and play Luke Cage here just so I can protect these guys. Moon Girl, Quinjet. Ooh, okay. Very interesting. This is Devil Dino play. That is a classic play. I don't really want to skip 
turn six because I don't have Sunspot on the field. I kind of want to make him work for it. So he skipped. Double She-Hulk incoming. I was thinking of the same thing. All right, let's mark that down as a minus one. Escape. Double She-Hulk, very nice. Let me see. So hide, recheck that. Okay, show tracker windows. Okay, so that just put the other ones back on the board. So if we get rid of that, there you go. But yeah, it hasn't updated this deck, which is okay. Yeah, and it still doesn't still doesn't hide, so that's fine. We'll put these right back down here. That double She-Hulk play, that's a hard one to get off in the right order. Man, that's fun though. Like, being able to play 40 power. Riddle me this. This week is 100% Star Wars trivia. Who is Quake Engine's master? If it doesn't work with the pop-out trackers, only the ones attached. Gotcha. Uh, X-Mansion, nothing to play. There we go, keep these in the standard position. I love Star Wars 2, I've seen them all, fantastic. Then hopefully you will do decently well with these. Love the Mandalorian, same here. I love, love, love the Mandalorian. All right, so let's get rid of Hellfire Club. And let's see what they're gonna do. Okay, so they're playing on Bar Sinister. That is interesting. Because depending on what they do, watch, they're gonna play, no, that's super rude. Uh, and just a heads up here, guys, for Riddle Me This, if you guys are putting the questions in, make sure you type an exclamation point first, and then all your answer together. So now if you press your avatar, does it hide the tracker? Curious if it's working as intended. Now it works. Johnny Drama, you're my favorite person today. There you go. So the pop-out ones, yeah, doesn't work. Very strange. Um, I'm going to play Cyclops over here, because at least he can hit two cards. A Black Knight, always interesting. Fun, look at that. My goodness, you're my favorite person today. Okay, so we're playing a discard. So he's got a one, he's got a, a nine power Ebony Blade. Very cool. Two Limbos. I mean, we could really spread the field here. Oh, I don't have any variants in my deck. Yeah, I'm playing mostly with the... Uh, I have a few variants, not too many. Am I really not playing with any variants on this? Yeah, after this game, remind me, guys. Let's go in and let's see if we can switch some variants out. I've, of these cards, I really don't have that many variants. Um, I'm going to skip turn six and hope we draw... How many blade? Uh, power can't be reduced. That's good. That would have been a good card to play over Cyclops, right? Then if he gets hit, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, let's skip turn. Hella. Yeah, so he's going to show his hand. Totally fine. So the nice thing is, is we can win over here. And this is going to go to a minus six, so he has to play 11. By the way, do you feel comfortable without Cosmo? Because I encounter a lot of Wong Odin combos at my 1k level. It's pissing me off. So I, ugh, Cosmo is a hard one because a lot of, I usually play with a lot of unreveal cards. This deck is a little bit of a uh, exemption from that. Oh, you know what we could do? Hulk is four more power. Oh yeah, you're right. Um... Hulk is more power, but I'm kind of wondering if I want to Shang-Chi over here and then increase my power on Limbo and still leave a power extra. Because this is going to win me left side because it's going to take Infinite off the field. And I really want to make sure, because I can just basically leave Limbo as wasted power. I'm going to snap and go with this.
Magneto, totally fine. Yep, bring it on over. I had a feeling they were gonna play Magneto. There we go. Yeah, buddy, give me those four cubes. I don't know, if, I don't have any variants for Misty Knight, I don't think. My goodness. Armor, do we have anything? I have the Chibi variant. We could swap in this one. It's the standard variant. Luke Cage, Dan Hip. Um, Cyclops, nothing for Cyclops. I have a lot of Shang-Chi variants. I've got the baby black and whites. Um, I mean, I've just got a ton. Let's go with this guy, the black and white. I think that one's always fun. I don't think I have anything for high Evo. Abomination, nah, nothing. She-Hulk, nothing. Hulk, still nothing. Infinite, nope. I do not have a lot of variants for this deck. And maybe, just maybe, editing that deck a little bit will also update the tracker. Oh, shoot. All right, testing, testing, one, two, three. Looks like we lost internet for there for just a second, guys. Comcast is kind of the worst, so if it stopped, I'm so sorry. So make sure to join back in, refresh that page. My creations. So sorry about that. That happens every once in a while. Um, let me see. Hey, look, it did update. So now that we put a few variants in there, Shang-Chi is now in the lineup. It's fine. Yeah, it drives me nuts, though. Because a lot of times what happens is it usually cuts my viewership in half, which is super frustrating. Okay, Mojo World and Nita. These are good locations to play on. Ooh, and a Necrotia. Uh, I'm going to play Cyclops over here because this is the one that's more likely to get loaded up. Yeah, zero into Ebony Ma. Nice. Very good play. Uh, but we're going to hit that with a Misty Knight. This is probably a Sauron deck. There it is. Called it. Called it. I've got the the hat hair today. Uh, we're definitely going to save Shang-Chi. And I kind of want to play A-Bomb here. Red Skull, okay. Um, but if I skip my next turn, I'm going to play Shang-Chi here and just hope this wins me the game. <laughs> no, that's brutal. No, an Eliath finisher? Oh, no. That really hurt. <laughs> that sucked. I was like, oh, he's going to play Taskmaster. I would have bet money that he's going to play Taskmaster. Guys, we lost two. Uh, that puts us at one, two, three, four, five losses in a row. Tis the season for losses in a row. Yeah, oof is right. Oof is right. I mean, to be fair, um, we had a stretch of five games where we won 15 cubes. So like losing five games and only losing six is pretty good. Murder World, love that location. Oh nice, he played Soulstone over there. That's totally fine. Limbo, oh, bless. Ooh, an armor, uh, yeah, let's protect that because Thanos players tend to have Killmonger so they can clear the field. The Dan Hip Psylocke, nice. Avengers Compound, Luke Cage. Let me see. Um, yeah, I guess I'll play, or I can spread it out a little bit. Let's do Luke Cage right. 
Reality Stone, nice. That's awesome. And turns into Xandar. Okay. That makes that location a little bit more appealing now. I wish I would have put Luke Cage over on that side, but you never know. I could play Magic over here just to get rid of his bonuses. So I think I'm going to do that. The Mind Stone. This one's just draw cards, right? Draw two one-cost cards from your deck. Nice. I mean, yeah, I guess we're going to play Abomination. I think Abomination is... He's not enough power, but also having a card that you can play that is not able to be shang chi is super helpful like it's like hey it's not 10 power so i think it really helps what would you recommend for the first 6,000 tokens i pinned tribunal for now but not sure maybe try to roll thanos um well out of those two i would probably play tribunal mostly because i like i don't usually play thanos like at all so that's that's a hard one for me to recommend because um, I just I don't have a, very much experience playing that, and you have to have a really good setup for Tribunal as well. I would almost save to see what other cards are available, just because there are some really good six cost cards out there, or some finisher cards if that's kind of what you're looking for. Um, but out of those two, I would say Tribunal. But that's also because I like the Tribunal playstyle more than Thanos. But I I I don't play Thanos that much at all, actually. Um, turn six, what are we going to do? I'm thinking we're going to hit this over here. We drew Sunspot really late, which is not ideal. And then I kind of want to do a She-Hulk finisher over here for 23 power. It's kind of a weird one. I really like Tribunal with like a Iron Man onslaught, which is really fun, but you have to play Limbo. It's one of those, I try not to, I love playing Limbo, but I try not to set too many decks up so you have to play Limbo. Thanos Space Stone, nice dude. There you go. Ooh. Okay, this is an odd occurrence. Um, I almost never see people actually play Thanos as intended and just like as a 20 power card. So good for you, dude. Oh, this is really killing our, our vibes, our winning vibes here, guys, come on. I I never would have like this, that sounds stupid, but I never would have guessed a Thanos player actually playing Thanos as the finisher. <laughs> I'm not used to that. Muir Island, yes, please. All right, if I can get Misty Knight and Armor over on Mirror Island, I'm going to feel pretty good. Rickety Bridge. Oh, boy. Uh, we're going to play Luke Cage mid. Because it's actually going to be pretty hard to take that location. Uh, an Iron Heart. Interesting. It would have been better to not have played Iron Heart. Because they're going to have to start playing cards here, which is now going to help us because of Cyclops. A Dark Hawk. Okay. Dark Hawk and Iron Heart. Not exactly what I was expecting, but that works. Uh, we're gonna do turn five magic over here. Cause that's actually gonna win us three locations, which is gonna spread him even thinner. And he retreated. Hey, we won. Victory. 
I had no idea what their deck was going to be, so I'm, I would have felt kind of weird snapping on that, but it's good to get a cube back to the bank. Toothers, you should let me know what what deck are you playing with right now? Kind of what's your what's your main lineup? I would love to hear. Probably didn't draw his Wong Odin. Yeah, something. I was even anticipating like a Silver Surfer Wong. At least that's what uh, three cost cards always lead me to believe. Oh no, he got my magic. Oh nice. Except we're gonna get rid of Death's Domain now because I'm not gonna let him win that location with a squirrel. That's ridiculous. Swap the position of every location. I'm I'm feeling okay about this, man, because I'm gonna I'm gonna block this up. Watch, he's gonna play Killmonger. <laughs> Ooh, a green goblin. That's rough. Nice thing is, is I have big power cards like Hulk and Infinite that can basically negate this green goblin right away. Taser face. Ooh, a Kazar. Yes, so he's probably playing Kazar Kyra. So at this point, the, all the locations are null. Basically, the only thing affecting the game at this point is Limbo. And we're going to do this. Okay, so we're going to give up that middle location. That's totally fine. I'm surprised he didn't spread out that power. Okay, so left in our deck, we have Armor, Luke Cage, and Infinite. None of those are very good to play. Because we're, I mean, we're going to play She-Hulk, so. He's got a Shauna, okay. Okay, he did lock down the left, which is awesome. Dazzler, cool. Does this mean we win? I could literally play Hulk mid and win. Because we're down 17 points. That would win me this. Let's take into consideration he plays blue Marvel over here. That way we would lose. So if we did this, he would go up by three points here, he'd be at 17. Okay, so if you played Blue Marvel, we would win. Because we're giving up middle. And we're hoping Misty Knight puts another point over here. We could also play Luke Cage High Evo. Because that would put us at 10... Uh, 12 points over here which he still wouldn't win if he plays that but it would also protect us against a dr doom play let's do that a valkyrie dang i was not anticipating a valkyrie gosh dang it See, it's, it's ones like this that I, I can't anticipate. I anticipated Blue Marvel or uh, Doctor Doom. Those were really what I was anticipating, not Valkyrie. Didn't even cross my brain. That does put us down to a sum of four, so we've lost a lot of cubes in the last little bit, but it also puts us down to like what averages should be. Like, you shouldn't expect to win 
like 1.6 cubes per game. That's crazy. That's how decks get broken. Lamentus one, the swoosh. Okay. This actually could work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play Sunspot. Man, he wants to snap on this. Dude, I'm not playing a destroy deck after Lamentus. Yeah, damn, for sure. I, every time I've ever played Destroy and I draw Lamentus, I win every time. And so I snap turn one, and it's just like, you're like, hey, you can either play like Destroy, which can keep getting cards into your hand, or you play something like Agents of Shield, and you're like, hey, it doesn't actually matter if I get my cards destroyed because I can just bring more right back in. And then you know your opponent's playing at a disadvantage because they only have so many cards. Hey, look, an Echo. And nowhere on reveal locations do not happen. Um, let's do Luke Cage over here, maybe. Hopefully we draw armor. Then we can protect our our monster. Unless we draw Shang-Chi, which then I can blow up their monster. We'll see. Cloning, that's... Oh, sweet Moses. Let's do Sunspot here. Or, sorry, Cyclops. Absolutely. 100%. So we're just going to do Cyclops here and in mid. Storm, you jerk. I'm just going to... Fine. I'll play Cyclops and Sunspot over on that side. Or, I could be mean and play Magic. That is a cool variant. Oh, it's the nullified variant, that's why. That is awesome. Yeah, so he played Shang-Chi. I played Magic, which means we can still play over here. And honestly, I'm going to hit him in nowhere with this. And I might just let him keep Limbo for a little bit. I might make him feel safe. Ooh, a Miss Marvel. Okay. Yeah, I actually might ignore Limbo now. Because I can play Infinite She-Hulk middle safely. Skip in and snap in. So I've got She-Hulk and Infinite in my hand. Let's go for eight. Let's do it. Let's win some cubes back, people. Come on. He's got priority. What are you going to do? Ooh, a vision play. Interesting. Having Cyclops and Sunspot on the field is kind of crazy. Because honestly, we can play Infinite She-Hulk and still get a lot of points on the field. Because that's going to put 13 extra points down on Nowhere and uh, 23 points on Cloning Bats. And he retreated. Yeah, give me those cubes, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I wish we would have taken that to eight, but that's okay. GG, noobs. <laughs> Angel Toothers, you savage. I love it. <laughs> Way to go, losers. I'm telling you, man, that turn six, they're like, okay, if he does this, I'm ready for this. If he does this, I'm ready for this. And then you do nothing, and they're like, I wasn't ready for him to do nothing. That's a bummer. Tinkerer's Workshop, kind of a waste. Would have loved to have gotten Sunspot. Asteroid M. So we're just we're just gonna play Cyclops there when we can. See, look, there's my sunspot. It's to others though, but fine. Yes. <laughs> uh, Dream Dimension, very rude, but still kind of plays in our favor because that usually leaves unspent energy in the hand.
I like how earlier in the stream Xfinity cut out on us and then I get a text reminder that says your payment to Xfinity went through and I'm like, ah, yes, my internet provider that uh, gives me crappy internet. Yes, love it. All right, come on, man, it's just turn three. There's only so many things you can do. A wave, very nice. So do we play Hulk? Uh, yeah, we do, because we can play armor over top, 100%. Wait, did I skip that last turn? No, I played Cyclops. That's what I did. A leech, totally fine, man. Totally fine. Yep, give me that, give me that. 100%. Yep, 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 yep. He doesn't know it. He doesn't know it, but I want it. I want that leech. <laughs> He's like, oh no. <laughs> when somebody snaps and you play Leech, you're like, I'm immediately worried. <laughs> what is going on? Superflow. Ooh, we love Superflow. Uh, yes, sir. A Sentinel. Very nice play. Cloning Vats. One of my favorites. Let's go. Yeah, he's smart. He's probably thinking, yeah, I don't really want to play that over there. Avengers Compound. Yeah, we'll play Cyclops right here. And we're going to start chipping away at him, so this is going to be awesome. And A-Bomb is probably going to be free almost later. Oh my gosh, he's going to be one cost. That's fine, man. Kill my Misty Knight. It wasn't my Sunspot. That is okay. I'm just, I'm just gonna, just gonna put this here really quick. And do that, and then I'm gonna do the same thing over here. A-bomb armor, A-bomb armor, and just be ready to go. I wish I would draw Cyclops as often as you do. I feel very lucky right now, because I love Cyclops. It's probably my favorite card in this deck. And like, like this is why I, I do what I do. <laughs> it's so fun. Oh, my next Abomination is probably going to be free, depending on if I hit that Sentinel or Bast that just came out. Nope, didn't hit it. It's not free. <laughs> Rats. <laughs> Alright, six power. Magic. I'm just going to make your life worse. Play another A bomb. Or I can play armor. I'm gonna save it and play armor. And then I'm gonna skip turn six and play Infinite. <laughs> They're never gonna see it coming. He just filled up his location. Oh no, brother. You gotta quit now. Don't let me take this to full. Like, that's fine, man. You didn't. You should have played. Oh, you can't play Luke Cage on Cloning Vats because that was turn five, wasn't it? Dude, that's totally fine, man. That's totally fine. Um, let me see. Do I... So I could either draw High Evo She-Hulk or Hulk next turn. I need to win right, but I could do so very easily with A-Bomb right now. And I'm probably going to win mid, too. But I am just going to keep this right here. I could play another A-bomb middle. That's just, that feels like the right play. But then I wouldn't be able to play, because I'm that would win me basically both of these locations. Let's go ahead and skip the turn. 
and let's see what he does. Valkyrie, okay. Dude, Valkyrie, what, what in the heck? People coming through with this, all right. Yeah, because now I can win middle with Luke Cage. Because I can literally just play Luke Cage, A-Bomb, Sunspot, and basically win. There's no way he's going to take this, right? He's only down one point on either of these. Because this is going to put me up a ton of points. Like... <laughs> Oh no, there's no way he's gonna take this to the end. He does! Okay, he's gonna play a Sentinel. A Shadow King, which is totally fine. Dude. <laughs> Let's go. Thanks for the cubes, buddy. We won by a lot, too. Winning by 8, winning by 9. Yeah. All right, that puts our sum back up to 12. LMAO, yeah, right? I'm like, dude, you should have left. You should have left. Ridiculous. Chewy reloaded. Fisk Tower, when a card moves here, afflicts it with minus four power. What do you guys think about the Fisk changes? So instead of destroy mechanics with Fisk, um, it is now a affliction mechanic instead. Let me know what you guys think. Sorry, I try not to slurp into the microphone, but I need to I need to keep the uh, the pipes oiled. An Elysium. Oh daddy. Ooh, and if Mirror Dimension hits Elysium, oh I'm gonna be so happy. Uh, let's play a sunspot here. Dude, I'm okay with you snapping on this. This feels good. Um, your cards with one or less power cost one less. So he's probably gonna be able to play some good cards, but so will I. Ooh, actually, I missed it by that much. Just kidding. Yeah, uh, I sh I made a mistake there. Because, you guys remember that round where they played like four different Iron Mans on the field? Um, yeah, those cards are basically free now, and I'm not doing that. So we're going to take the two cube loss um, right away. I should have, if I had hit that like three seconds earlier, I would have gotten out of there with one. But it's okay. My brain is still not functioning at full speed, so we're going to take that two cube loss and just move on. My what did I say about not letting people snap on you and then I just did what I told you not to do? <laughs> Especially that early in the game. Unless somebody like snaps immediately in the game, then I'm like, okay, that's fine. But no. All right, looks like we're playing a Hella Discard, which we have beaten in the past. Isle of Silence, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Let's do an armor over here. Baxter building, nice. Uh, let's play Cyclops. We're going to want to get a lot of power onto that part. Onto that location, sorry. Alright, keep in mind guys, they have th er, 32 power in the hole right now because of their discard mechanics. So depending on how well they do, we'll see. Oh, I wish I would have drawn magic. But magic helps them out a ton. And of course he gets Infinite onto the location that I cannot Shang-Chi. Okay. That is a bummer. Hopefully we'll be able to hit that with Hulk and win it. Magic. Yeesh. A Sarah. Okay. Nice. 
the nice thing is we can still retreat. Ooh, do I skip another turn and go for the She-Hulk Infinite? I think so. Because this will also tell me whether or not he's going to play Hella or not. Because if he plays Hella, Magneto's going to come on the field. It's going to suck Cyclops over to one side, probably. Why would you play Zabu there, buddy? I mean, yeah, you can get Miss Marvel to go off, but... Okay, we're going to play Hulk right. Because we need the ween. Oh, Hulk right doesn't win us, though. So if they play Hella mid, that means Magneto could show up on either side. And if Magneto shows up on the right, we lose, because they're going to have 33 power. But I guess we'll have 34. But if Magneto shows up on the middle or the left, it will pull Cyclops away, which means we won't win. Well, we will win if it's over here, but then we would need to win center, maybe? This is going to be an interesting one. Let's take it for two. They're not snapping, so that means they're not confident. Jeff and Shang-Chi. Okay, that was not the play I anticipated at all, so that's cool. I was expecting a hell of a finisher. All right, we'll take two. That was unexpected, but we'll take it. We will take it. Oh yeah. Behold my creations. A Wakandan embassy. Oh, how kind of all of that extra power. Let's go. Ooh, and a Krosha. Ooh. Okay. I guess she's just back down to regular. I'll put Luke Cage there if I can. Get some extra power back. Interesting. They're going to go Craven mid. Okay, so they're playing a move deck, which makes me immediately want to just leave the left side alone. Yep, Heimdall, that's why. Human Torch, Cloak, yep. We've got Shang-Chi in our hands, and boy howdy, can we do some fun stuff with Shang-Chi. Hmm. Do I play a 4-6 high Evo? I mean, yeah, why not? It's gonna be a lot more power to get on the field, comparatively. A Hercules. OG move deck. Got my first infinite with that. Dude, you got infinite with a move deck? How? <laughs> uh, I, I remember playing, uh, I played quite a bit of move uh, when I first started, because I do love the mechanic. It's just, it's so predictable. Like, the fact that he's got Human Torch in the middle right now means Human Torch is probably going to end left with Heimdall finishing, and that's fine. That's totally fine. Well, the best pool 2 deck. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good low pool deck. Oh, there you go. See? Good, good move with Doctor Strange. See, again, he's got so many cards over here. He's going to beast them back to his hand. Okay, a little bit of bounce, a little bit of bounce. Bounce, 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 bounce. All right, and we are going to skip because he's probably going to play a couple of his other cards and knowing that he's going to play a Heimdall finisher because we've literally got his Heimdall in our hands right now means we can kind of predict what is going to happen. 
I'm surprised I haven't seen an Iron Fist or a Ghost Spider, because those are really good cards to play with Human Torch. Man, I wish I had Sunspot on the field. That would make me feel a lot better about this, which is why I'm not snapping. See, he basted all, everything into his hand, not really knowing that I had Limbo, so I'm not really sure what his plan was, because he was probably thinking, oh, I'm going to play Heimdall turn 6, so why would you play Beast turn 5? But I guess this gives him more opportunities to play stuff. So that means if I were him, I'd be playing uh, Human Torch, Doctor Strange, Kraven, all of that, which is looks like that's what he's going to do. So Human Torch is going to go over. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Doctor Strange, yep, is going to go over. All right, so Heimdall, that means we have to give up on mid. That kind of sucks. Oh, no way. He ended left. Wow. Hello. Hello. So again... Human Torch being over on the left is the best case scenario for us because he's probably going to play Heimdall, which means all we have to do is beat Heimdall, which is only 10 power. So if we do Infinite She-Hulk, that should win us. So hold on. Let's let's see what we're playing with here really quick. So if he plays, sorry, let's let's reverse that. Let's reverse that. GG if they have Tribunal. Yo, don't even say that. Don't even say that. Um, let's go Infinite She-Hulk, because that's going to be 17 over here, because everything's going to shift left. So we need more power mid. We're going to snap, and we're going to go, because it's predictable. Come on. Don't make me look like an idiot on stream. Or do. That's, that's fine. Werewolf by Night and She-Hulk. Interesting. No way. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah, buddy, give me those four cubes. That is not what I was expecting them to do. I totally forgot that Daily Bugle was even in there. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Angel Toothers. All right, guys, let's do one more round and then we'll send it off for the day. Thank you guys so much for hanging out. Let's get a win. Let's let's send it out on a big win. Doom 60. Elysium, very nice. An invisible woman. Ah, makes me think we're playing a hella discard. We are playing a hella discard. There's no way, right? So on this, that just means we need to play tall. Just need to play tall. We're going to put Cyclops right here. Actually, let's do Cyclops right here. Ooh, we hit it with magic. Very rude. But we'll take it, because we're probably going to be able to put a lot of power onto the field. That's an awesome variant of magic. Tinkerer's Workshop. Nice. Look at all that extra energy. Uh, let's do High Evo Misty Knight. Ooh, an Iron Man. Makes me think they've got Hella Tribunal, right? Change variants. Can you be more specific? Um, let me see. We're going to actually end turn four so we can play Infinite turn five. Hello. Hello. Uh, no, I'm not going to waste Sunspot over there. We want to keep it tall. Okay, so if he's got Tribunal, I'm going to do this. You told us to remind you to change your variants 10 minutes ago. Yes, uh, you're right. Uh, I did change the variants. I don't have that many. Uh, I changed Armor, Luke Cage. I changed Armor and Luke Cage because those are the only ones I have variants for. 
Hit that. Fantastic. Because now if he's playing in like an onslaught or something, right? Let's see? Oh, she Hulk. Nice. Why does he have Invisible Woman? That's what I don't really get right now. Yeah, Living Tribunal. But he doesn't have enough power. Yeah. You didn't buy Season Pass. Hulk variant is OG in Season Pass. Um, I did. I do have the Season Pass. Yes. Victory. Let me see if I even have that Hulk variant. Um, yeah, let's go to here. Edit. I thought I had clicked through. I don't know if I have that Hulk variant yet. Yeah, so these are the only ones I have. I don't think I've gotten there yet. Um, so if we go to... Oh, that's not it. Planet Hulk, there we go. Uh, yeah, I need to be level 30 to get that Hulk variant, the World Breaker variant, which I'm very excited to get. Alright guys, we're going to raid out one of my favorite streamers here. We're going to raid out uh, Pixel Rips. He's playing some Final Fantasy, so we're going to send that over. Raid. Make some noise here, guys. He's a very fun creator. Let's do... I always spell his name wrong. Pixel Riffs. L Riffs. Raid that out. Fantastic. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today. You're going to end, that's it. Yep, we usually do short streams, about two hours, nothing crazy. Um, so we're going to send that over. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Probably going to be rating, or streaming tomorrow for a decent amount of time tomorrow, because tomorrow is a holiday in the U.S. So make sure you guys follow us. Okay, bro. Yep. Uh, I got to get some more stuff done around the house as well, because, again, it's early in the day here in the United States, so we're sending it over. Thanks for streaming. Good luck. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you guys chatting it up so much. You guys are awesome. Thanks for the GGs. Thanks for the views. You guys are literally the MVPs today, and you guys have a fantastic rest of your day from all around the world. We'll see you guys in the next one.